I'm Helen Jack. I'm a second year medical student at Harvard Medical School. And along with my peers from all four of Massachusetts medical schools, we are excited to be here today to stand with the governor and with the commissioner to help tackle the opioid epidemic, something that we see in our clinical training and have been seeing since we all started medical school. We want to be a generation of physicians that can tackle the opioid crisis head on, both in terms of appropriate pain management and in terms of medication assisted treatment and other treatments for opioid use disorders as a chronic health condition. My name is Andreas Mitchell. I'm a third year medical student at Harvard Medical School. Um, I wanted to echo what's been said so far about the fact that there's such a diversity of opportunities to learn um, at our medical schools, even within our medical schools. Um, so I've spent my primary care rotation um, at Harvard with a physician who's licensed to prescribe Suboxone for opioid maintenance therapy, um, and his patients have had astounding results. And I talked to my friends about what an amazing experience this has been, what a life-saving treatment this is, and some of them even have no idea about it. Um, there's such a dearth of physicians who are licensed to prescribe buprenorphine or Suboxone uh, for patients for opioid maintenance therapy um, that we don't even have the opportunity to get those sorts of learning experiences. Um, so we were excited to speak with the governor um, and discuss um, the need for more physicians who are licensed to prescribe Suboxone and opioid maintenance therapy um, as well as some of our other ideas. So right now, for their continuing medical education, there are three hours required. This would increase it to five. And there actually aren't clear guidelines for all other prescribers. So we know that physicians are important prescribers in the system, but we also have other prescribers, such as nurse practitioners and physician's assistants. So this is to expand it to that. The, the issue that this, re this requirement gets to is, again, what the governor was speaking about earlier related to variability. So you're hearing from the medical students that there's variability in what they're learning and we know that we need a standard. If this is a critical public health and medical issue, we need to make sure that everybody is getting the same baseline um, education, and that's what this is about. And these students can tell you stories about how they feel that they're so invested in addressing this opiate epidemic, but the people who are their teachers are not necessarily always as well informed, so this starts to get at those individuals who are already practicing and give them some baseline education and information. All of the students behind me are going into fields related to addiction medicine and primary care and wanted to make sure that their voice is heard and they could make a difference.